Hello and welcome to the Beluga Whale Phonics PowerPoint for this week, week three. Um, I'll talk you through it. It's very similar to last week. Um, the repetitive nature of Rudra Inc. helps the children uh, really cement those skills and remember how to do them. So the text will be slightly different, but the structure will stay the same. So there's the speed sounds video and the green words video and then a new sound. Um, this is a funny sound. The children quite often laugh at this one because it's poo at a zoo. <laughs> um, so yeah, they find that one funny. Uh, and then there's a new ditty. So this is book two and going through the speed sounds and then the vowel sounds as well. The sounds that are circled are the ones that will be appearing in this text. So this is the ones that we're practicing. Then there's the green words that they can sound out and the red words that they can't sound out. So you can read through the text and then there's the questions to talk about, the comprehension questions. And then moving on to Tuesday, it's very similar. Then there's another new sound. Now this sound, um, this is quite complicated because it's the same, what we call grapheme, it's a double O. Um, so it's the same way that we write it, but that double O has two different pronunciations. It has two different phonemes. So you can make it a long sound, oo, like in poo at a zoo, or it can be a short sound, uh, like look at a book. So the children will probably notice that it's the same sound written that we did yesterday, but it's a different phoneme. It's a different way to say it. Um, as the children move through school and learn even more sounds, there will be alternative spellings to sounds that they've already learned. So this is the first one that they will have encountered. Speed sounds, the green and the red words, and then through the ditty again, and the questions to talk about. Wednesday is very similar. Learning a new sound, R, start the car. And then Thursday, um, there's the speed sounds, a new sound, some alien words, some nonsense words to read. Um, and then this is saved on the website as a, a little word search that's got the um, A sound that we've been practicing in. Friday, see if they can write all of those sounds, uh, if they can remember the mnemonics, talk about them, see if they can write them. You, they might like to add the dots into the uh sound, uh, like the eyes that look at a book. And then there's a sentence that you can dictate to the children to see if they can write it, fish and chips on a dish, fish and chips on a dish, and then they can check it. Uh, they can give themselves ticks if they've got finger spaces, if they've got full stops, if they've got a capital letter, and if they've got all the sounds in the right place. Um, so thank you very much, and we'll see you soon.